Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. If your car needs a new air conditioning compressor, stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show you how to replace an air conditioning compressor on your car. Now first you have to figure out if the compressor is bad and in this case it's pretty simple. You just need a wrench and a socket and hook it up on the end of the compressor. You try to turn it and uh, I can't turn it because it's locked up. It should spin easily like this brand new compressor. Now the first thing you have to do is get rid of the refrigerant in the system. So hook the low pressure line up inside onto the head line here. It just snaps right on and then hook it up to the refrigerant recovery machine to recycle the refrigerant. Now if the system is out of refrigerant you don't have to worry about this, but if you don't have a recovery machine, have a mechanic do the job for you. He can empty it out and you can do the other work. The next thing you have to do is pry on the fan belt tensioner and pull the fan belt off. Now in this case the power steering pump uh, is in the way so we're going to take it off too. With the pump moved out of the way, we can get to the bolts to unbolt the compressor. Then you remove the refrigerant lines on top of the compressor by unscrewing the bolts and then pulling the lines off. Now to make sure nothing gets in the line, get a little piece of paper towel, wad it up and stick it in the end to block it. And the compressor just pulls right out. Now you'll notice the old compressor has a top on it where the hoses go in. The new one doesn't. You take it off and switch it over here. But before you do that, this compressor came dry. It uses four ounces of oil, so pour four ounces of oil inside it first. Just pour it right in the opening. Then put the top on and bolt it back together. Then slide the compressor on and bolt it back up. And then push the AC lines in and bolt them on. Get them nice and snug. And don't forget to plug the electrical connection back in so it works when you're done. Now this compressor was locked up because the car sat for four years, but if it locked up while running it's a good idea to flush the system before you put it together. And it's also a good idea to change the receiver dryer if you had any contamination in the system. Now we just hook up a vacuum pump, which evacuates the system out, gets rid of the moisture. It's a good idea to run it for about an hour, hour and a half to get all the moisture out. And while it's evacuating, we'll put the fan belt and all the other parts back on so it's ready to go. Slide the power steering pump back in and tighten the bolts up and snake the fan belt back in. Then after an hour, an hour and a half of evacuation, you shut the valves off. Then we turn the gauge off and shut the vacuum pump off and then fill it up with the proper amount of refrigerant. In this case it's one pound 14 ounces. And I've got a whole video on YouTube showing how to correctly fill your car with refrigerant if you want the entire story. And there it goes, now it's full of refrigerant. Ah, and it's blowing nice and cold. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this ride.